everyone. Today I'm going to teach you some business English buzzwords. These are some more informal words and expressions that you might hear in the context of work or business English. Are you ready? So let's say you're a creative person and you try to push the envelope at your company. Push the envelope means to move beyond the limits of what is normally done, to innovate and go into new areas. Maybe you want to cause a paradigm shift in your company or industry. A paradigm shift is a radical change in fundamental beliefs or theory. For example, when people went from believing that the sun revolved around the earth to knowing that the earth revolved around the sun, that was one example of a paradigm shift. Now, your innovative ideas might get some pushback in the company. Pushback is opposition or resistance to an initiative. Some of your coworkers might tell you, don't rock the boat or don't make waves. These expressions both mean don't do anything to disturb the current situation. Unfortunately, your company is having a budget crunch or a budget squeeze. That means there's not enough money to do everything that is planned. So the company needs to streamline its operations. Streamline means to make more efficient, usually by simplifying things. The company decides to cut some of its workers and, unfortunately, you lose your job. Then you decide to start your own company. You'll have to do it on a shoestring budget. A shoestring budget means very little money. Maybe you can pitch your idea to investors. To pitch an idea means to try to convince somebody to support it or to invest in it. But nobody's interested in investing, so you'll have to bootstrap. That means do it with your own work and your own resources without outside help. Luckily, you find a business partner who's on the same wavelength. That means you have similar thoughts, opinions, and ideas. You're thinking and moving in the same direction. And together, you manage to put your company on the map. To put something on the map means to make it known to the public or make it famous. You decide to reinvest the lion's share of your profits back into the company. The lion's share is the majority, the largest part. And as a result, your company's products are world class. World class means of the highest quality. I hope you've enjoyed this little story and also learned some new vocabulary along the way. If you're interested in improving your skills for using English at work or in a business context, check out my Business English course. It will teach you phrases and vocabulary for meetings, phone calls, emails, presentations, and interacting at work in a professional context. You can see the lesson list at EspressoEnglish.net slash business-english-course. Go ahead and check it out. Thanks for watching today.